Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Geeks and Jocks. This is David talking to you. We're going to do a different format today for our grading of cards according to TCG Player. We're going to dive right into it. For Near Mint, what is considered Near Mint according to TCG Player? Near Mint is considered when uh, the card shows minimal to no wear from shuffling, play, or handling. They, can, they have nearly unmarked surfaces, crisp, crisp corners, and the edge, outside of a few minimal flaws, are flawless. A near mint card may have a tiny edge, nick, or ding, and a tiny scratch or two. However, they look nearly unplayed with no major defects or flaws. The acceptable range of cards within the near mint condition include both cards with no imperfections and cards with a few or minor imperfections. So that is what they consider to be near mint. Like I said, near mint is considered cards with minor imperfections. Sometimes this is confused with light plate, but we're going to dive into light plate right next to this. Light plate cards are considered to be light plate when they have they may have minor border or corner wear or even just slight scuffs or scratches. There are no major defects such as liquid damage, bends, or issues with the structural integrity of the card. Noticeable imperfections are okay, but none should be too severe or at too high of a volume. So right now we're looking at volume of damage on the card is important. So in light plate, you may have some scuffs or some may, may minor defects on the edges, but nothing too high. The acceptable range of cards within the light plate condition include both cards with a handful of minor imperfections and those with a few more noticeable imperfections. Now we're gonna head over to the moderately played card, MP cards. The MP condition can have border wear, corner wear, scratching, or scuffing, creases, or whitening, or any combination of mild examples of these marks. A moderately played card may have some form of a major marking such as creasing that does not affect the card integrity but not in combination with other issues such as scratches scuffs border edge wear that are not impacting a large area of the card so we're go going into dangerous territory here because, you know, creases are acceptable. However, uh, like we saw in light play, um, the volume of these damages or, or these um, conditions are highly, are highly going to affect the card. So you can have some creases, but not extensive uh, markings on the card. Now we're going to move into heavily played. Cards in heavily played condition show a severe amount of wear. Cards with less than 30% of the surface being liquid damage are typically accepted but may be considered damaged if specially detrimental. HP cards can have one small instance of missing ink along with major creasing, whitening, and border wear if the card can still be sleeve playable is still considered heavily played if we go back into it it says that you know it can still have liquid damage and still be considered heavily played which most of us think that if it has some liquid damage some moisture in the card or the card integrity has been compromised it's you know damaged but that's not the case according to these guidelines. It's, it's basically uh, one third 
of the card cannot be damaged in this uh, two thirds of the card cannot be damaged this way only 30% is considered uh, to be heavily played if 30% or less is uh, damaged in this such way now we move to the damage it's uh, one of the last uh, consideration that TCG has for grading their cards so the card in damage condition can exhibit a tear bend or a crease that may make the card illegal for tournament play even in a sleeve if more than 30 percent of the card is damaged by liquid it is considered damage cards in damaged condition may have extreme border wear missing you know corners uh extreme corner wear heavy scratching or scuffing folding of the card will consider damage crease or tears uh, or other damages that impacts the structural integrity of the card therefore if you can tell what what card is you know in the sleeve this is considered not sleeve playable because you can notice what card is inside the sleeve because of the crease the bent missing a corner etc etc you have major uh, loss of the corners uh, major wear on these corners that will make it you know noticeable if you're playing it in the sleeve so if you cannot be if it cannot be played on a sleeve it's already considered to be damaged as well as if more than 30 percent or a third of the card is damaged uh, with water damage this results in the card being considered as damaged and now we're going to talk about i left it into the last category and you know this is mostly for the magic community we we uh, do have a lot of signed by the artist cards or artist proof cards this is considered an alteration and since uh, any alteration is unique TCG player does not consider this card to be gradable. Therefore, they are not saying that the card is uh, gradable or not. And it's based because uh, it's an alteration. They call it an alteration. To my way of viewing it, the, and this is me personally, I do not consider it to be damaged because you cannot tell if you're playing in within the sleeve. It's definitely art altered, so I would not be comfortable grading it as near mint, even if the card is itself structurally is near mint. But definitely it's not damaged. So this is gonna be based on interpretation people highly love to have their cards altered not only by signatures but you know when the artist actually paints or does some artistic alteration to the cards and but this is very personal so if i was buying a card i would prefer it not to be signed because it was not the signature was not meant for me especially because now I have a card that is signed if you don't get a place set signed this may result in the other player knowing that you may have if they saw your hand and you play a signed version of it and it goes to the graveyard and you're still holding another card, another copy, and it's not signed, they may know you have another copy because they saw your hand previously. And it creates a lot of uh, potential issues if you have a signed card and not a signed set of cards. Therefore, I do see it as something that is detrimental to the play to the to the uh, to your deck I guess if you don't have a full set of signed cards however if you have a full set of signed cards 
I do not see it as much of a, as a problem if you like this type of alterations. And to wrap it up, we have a uh, near mint, light play, moderately play, heavily played, and damaged. However, I wouldn't be that picky. However, no knowledge is the right step in the right direction. So please be sure to share this information so everybody can have a better experience while trading or selling their cards. And like always, if you find value on the content that we're providing to you, please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. This was brought to you by Game Inc. and Dex. They, Dex provides the best sleeves and deck boxes available on the market. Make sure Make sure to click on the link in the description below to get special savings on Dex product. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. And if you made it already to this point of the video, you might know that we are raffling out a Eternity Code or Ikoria Layer Behemoth Booster Box. The live raffle will be conducted on July 10th. And all you have to do to participate is comment on this video and make sure to be subscribed. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.